everyone I'm back with another video this one is on elapsed time uh, this is just going to be a really quick video to show you a concrete way of showing how to connect the abstract thought of elapsed time uh, in a concrete way that we can actually see written on a board or paper so um, if we're trying to find the elapsed time between 6 30 and 9 o'clock then uh, what I usually do to show my students how to do this is set up a timeline so I've got my beginning and end, and I'm going to label my two times on here, beginning and end. And then, just like I'm going to use a, a number line when we add or subtract, I'm going to make jumps to get from 6.30 to 9 o'clock. So the first thing that I try to do if I have a, a time that's not an exact hour is I jump until the next full hour. So in this case, the next full hour is 7 o'clock. And then I label up here how much time has passed from 6.30 to 7 o'clock. And then from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, I can either make two jumps or I can make one large jump to show that two hours have passed between 7 and 9 o'clock. Then it's really easy just to take all of my time that I've labeled up there at the top and see that my elapsed time is 2 hours and 30 minutes. So that one is a pretty easy one. This next one is a little bit more difficult. Um, it's always more difficult whenever we have to jump over a 12 o'clock hour, um, like 12 noon or 12 midnight, uh, because a lot of times my students will want to just take these two times, line them up, and then subtract them. But um, of course that doesn't always work with time. So again, I'm just going to set up my timeline here. I'm, I've got my first time. My beginning time is 10.57. And then my end time is 1.15. So again, my first jump, I want to jump to the next full hour. So in this case, it would be 11 o'clock. And that time that passed is 3 minutes. And then from 11 o'clock, if I jump another hour, that's 12 o'clock. So I label it up there. And another hour would be 1 o'clock. So that's another hour. And then from 1 o'clock to 1.15, is 15 minutes. Again, I just add up my times up here. So I've got two full hours. My 15 minutes plus my three minutes, 18 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful. Please let me know what you think about it and if there's anything else you'd like to see. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.